Advantage heating is here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got. Okay. Hey. Hey, how you doing? You must be Chris. I'm Chris. I'm Bob. Hey, Bob. How you doing? You too. Good. You've done a lot of work for my daughter Tiffany. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Orchard. Okay. Orchard, uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. So she's. I've had Sims forever. So, you know. <laughs> guys are close. I see that. I see that. <laughs> well, I tell you what. Uh, what the problem is, um, we don't have any heat, okay? But, but it seems to be intermittent because uh -huh. it's, it's maintaining at 62. Okay, but Let's anyway, let's see what's going on with that. My son, who happens to be an electrician, he came over and got it going for us and said that you know he's not a he's not a, a you guy. <laughs> but, but he, he said, you know, I need to watch this thing. Pass it or the motor. Okay. Again, like I said, he got it going. Oh. You got this thing taped off. To okay. Keep it going. Yeah, now let me dig into it and see what I can see. All right. What's up, the drink? Oh, I'm good. Thank you. Right, it's too on. it's too early for, for some whiskey, but. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've got some of that. <laughs> Later, maybe. Yeah, yeah that's that's uh that's about that's a nightcap. <laughs> <laughs> sure. What is that? I don't know whether that thing's been blinking or not. I just took that. Yeah. My son Troy, he had it off. And... Check that capacitor, and we're gonna check that capacitor and see what what that's reading. Capacitor, it, it's what starts the motor. Oh, okay. Um, okay. That it has capacitance in it, and it basically just starts the motor. And if that's weak, that will make a grunt, or it could be a bad motor. Yeah, I'd say that's bad. It's pretty neglected. It's rescue time. I'm sitting here waiting for this furnace fire. I feel the, felt the heat rolling out of this thing. This is uh, rolling back pretty hard. We'll let them know about that. Bottom doors on. I'm going to do a combustion check before I change out this 
blower because this furnace is 30 years old. Yeah, I'm thinking we got a bad heat exchanger. What do you guys think? Leave, it, leave your thoughts and feedback into the comments section below. Yeah, I'm thinking we have a bad heat exchanger. It's time to abort. It's time to abort. Or it ruins my sensors. Well, I'm going to go grab some carbon monoxide readings upstairs, see if they, that'll uh, say anything. Here, this is for all you uh, haters out there and trolls. I zeroed it outside, zero parts per million. I did notice too, this definitely needs a chimney liner because I'm down there waiting for this thing to fire up and the water heater vent's rolling out the vent and the, the plastic rings around there are all melted. So. Around the furnace? Nope, around the water heater. Oh. Yep, yep. So that needs to be addressed as well. So I'm assuming once we do this, we'll probably do a high efficiency if we can find a place to vent it out, correct? Right. And yeah. then we'll drop a liner down for that for that water heater. Okay. Okay. And what's the, uh, when you say high efficiency, is that 90, 98? What 90, 96%, then it goes up to 97 and a half, 98, yeah. Okay. But the, obviously the more, the more, um, the higher the efficiency modulation, stuff like that, the more money it costs. Yeah. So. Really, I would never get it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, my son just. Oh, yeah. Instantly. Instantly. Yeah. Took it out. We got a bad, bad heat exchanger. Those numbers aren't high, you tell me what is. All right, everyone. Um, just leaving that uh, 30 year old carrier furnace. Uh, I gotta work up an estimate and um, send it over to the customer. 
and uh, yeah, we'll get that one in the books, uh, either be this week or next week. Um, you know, I shut the, what I do with those is I tell the homeowner, you know, I didn't get it, wasn't reading any CO upstairs. Um, I stuck, you know, I was walking around, let this thing running. Uh, you could smell it downstairs a little bit. It was burning, burning bad. But uh, what I do is I shut the furnace off at the switch and the gas. And then I tell the homeowner, I need you to sign a waiver stating that I'm not liable for anything. And and then as soon as I walk away, you can flip the switch on, turn the gas on. And that's what he did. I mean, and I told him to keep the window cracked. Um, so it is what it is, you know. And uh, we'll be back either end of this week, beginning of next, putting a new furnace in for him. Um, that was a referral. Uh, did a lot of work for his daughter. Um, thanks for watching.